Wastewater can be treated in two ways. One method is called primary treatment and the other is called secondary treatment. Follow Metro Vancouver wastewater plant technician Craig Meyer to find out how it works. The first stage of treatment takes place in the influent pumping station where solid debris is removed from the wastewater. all those sticks and rags and other things that people put down in the toilet and anything else you really can think of that these screens will remove. As the water flows through this tank, it's moving very, very slowly. All the scum, fats, oils and greases are floating to the top of the surface. So we're going to collect all these fats at the front of this tank and all the heavy organic matter is settling down. At some wastewater plants, this is the end of the process and water is discharged to the river or ocean. These are called primary wastewater plants. Other plants, however, continue treating the wastewater even more. These are called secondary wastewater treatment plants. It's time for secondary treatment. We have four large domes. So those are the trickling filters. Inside the trickling filters, we have about 15 feet of this plastic media. Basically what's happening is as the water filters through this media, the slime starts to grow that has all these organisms and they're gonna start consuming all this soluble uh, organic matter and this really finely suspended organic matter that we couldn't settle out in the primary sedimentation tanks. As the wastewater leaves the trickling filters, you can see those pyramid-shaped domes. Underneath there is the solid contact tanks. Here we have secondary clarifiers the wastewater slows down and it's going to reside in this tank for about four and a half hours and in that four and a half hours it's going to slowly settle out all that heavy material and the water on the top is very clean that's the water we're going to end up sending out to the river to recap large materials and grit are scraped and settled out oils are skimmed and sludge is settled out then bacteria consume tiny organic materials. Then the bacteria clumps settle out. Finally, the surface water flows to the ocean or river.